I just want to like visualize what we're doing here. So guys, we're, the data layer that Sunny is talking about, we've explained it in a few um, other of our videos. So we're not going to go too much into detail of it, but I kind of just want to touch base on it a little bit. Mm -hmm. But in this data layer, we're going to have the user. Yep. And we want to be able to access this user from anywhere in our app. So for example, whether we have our app, you know, here, um, and then this connects to like our different components that we have in our app. So like, what would be one of our components like chat? Yep. So chat, uh, what other components do we have? Like header sidebar header? Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to draw them in like kind of random areas. Okay. So I'm just going to draw, uh, we have like other components like sidebar and we also have other component like header. And yep. what we want to be able to do, you guys, is instead of doing something called prop drilling, which is a problem, like to access user, you know, we'll have to like go inside of app and then chat and then this and then access user like that. Instead of that, we want to have a data layer on the on, you know, just imagine like one bucket and then we can access the user from anywhere within the app. So if we want to use them within our component of chat, we can just directly use it. If we want to access them in sidebar, we can directly use it instead of like, if app knows about user, then the way we access user is to like drill down every single level. So that's what we're doing right now with all the technology. When we talk about Redux or when we talk about context APIs, what we're really talking about is this main concept called data layer, this thing right here. And it's just this bucket that we keep on the side that we can instantly access. That's it. Okay. It has all these complex terms like Redux and state managers and this and that and the other freaking thing. But in its simplest form is I want to be able to use this as fast as fucking possible. That's it. Yep. And have direct access to it anywhere I'm at. Exactly. I think that was such a clean breakdown, guys. And I really, really think if that if that helped you out, guys, all we us smash the thumbs up button. Yeah, do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. That was, yeah, that was actually really clean. How you? Because that's quite a. People get very scared by that sort of explanation, guys. But it's uh, all that sort of the con the idea of the React Context API. And like you saw, it's actually a very simple concept. It's just a case of once you implement it once and practice with it, it will make sense, and you get to use it. Okay. So nice. So with that said, let's jump in. So we've got to basically set. So what Kazi showed.